If you like Sam Claflin, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Good, yeah, good, thank so, you. Done. Do you want me to grab anything else? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Riot Club, 2014. The Riot Club is a 2014 British drama film directed by Lone Scherfig and stars Sam Claflin, Max Irons, and Douglas Booth. Two young men start their first year at Oxford University and become members of the Riot Club, a long-established drinking club only for Britain's most privileged students. But over the course of just one single hedonistic night of drinking and drugs, reputations can be built up or even destroyed. Drink till our eyes fall out. Let us dance foot loose upon the earth and carpe some fucking dear. Yeah! Yeah! We who are about to dine salute you. Number 9. Journey's End, 2017. Company by the center! Quick march! Left, right, left, right, left, right. Journey's End is a 2017 British war film directed by Saul Dibb and stars Sam Claflin, Asa Butterfield, Paul Bettany, and Tom Sturridge. Based on the 1928 play by C. Sheriff. Journey's End tells the story of a group of British officers who are set in a dugout in Eisne in 1918. While their young leader Stan Hope starts mentally degrading, the group awaits their destiny. If I see him, I'll give him a piece of my mind. Stan Hope. Hello, Stan Hope. I was told to report to your company, sir. Number 8. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 2, 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 76 Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 2 is a 2015 dystopian science fiction adventure film directed by Frances Lawrence and stars Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, and Elizabeth Banks. After Katniss Everdeen, The Girl on Fire, agrees to be the role of the Mockingjay and the symbol of rebellion, she and her team of rebels prepare to take their fight to the autorical capital. Their main mission is to bring President Snow down once and for all, which will decide the fate and the future of Panem. We all have one enemy, and that's Snow. He corrupts everyone and everything. He turns the best of us against each other. Number 7. Adrift, 2018. Like fish? I'm actually a vegetarian. So. <laughs> right. I like them when they're alive. Uh. Adrift is a 2018 romantic drama film produced and directed by Baltasar Kormaker and stars Shailene Woodley and Sam Claflin. Set in 1983, the movie is based on the true story of two avid sailors, Tammy Oldham and Richard Sharp, as they face one of the most catastrophic hurricanes in recorded history. Stranded in the middle of the Pacific Ocean after the hurricane, they must find their way to Hawaii with a damaged boat and no radio. Mayday! Mayday! Is anybody there? Please me up. I'm Number six. The Nightingale, 2018. Don't worry, my love. Don't worry about us. I wanted to come tell you we're all right. The Nightingale is a 2018 Australian period drama film written and directed by Jennifer Kent and stars Iceling Francoisi and Sam Claflin. In 1825, Claire, a 21-year-old native Irish wife and mother, chases a British lieutenant through the Tasmanian wilderness, trying to get revenge for a horrible act of violence he perpetuated against her family. She soon enlists the services of the aboriginal tracker, Billy, who was also traumatized from his own rough past. Wait, will ya? Wait! Go the wrong way if you want. Them soldiers went this way. Number 5. 
their finest 2016. What if it's the propeller? It gets snarled up with flotsam, Uncle Frank goes in the water to free it, gets shot, and the girls have to finish the job under fire. Not the girls. Not the girls. No. Their Finest is a 2016 British war comedy drama film directed by Lone Scherfig and stars Gemma Atherton, Sam Claflin and Bill Nighy. It is the story of a British Ministry of Information film team making a morale-boosting film about the Dunkirk evacuation during the Battle of Britain and the London Blitz. Therefore, a former secretary, Catherine Cole, is recruited to be a scriptwriter for the propaganda films. But she and her colleagues must struggle against sexism against coal and political meddling while London suffers the bombs of the enemy. So what do you think? Day at the seaside, and you never know, if there's a film at the end of it, there might be a better job in it for you. We'll need someone to write the slop. Slop? Girl talk. Women's dialogue. Woof, woof. Number 4. United, 2011. Now, are you going to bleat or work? Because that's what separates those who make it from those who don't. I'm going to work. United is a 2011 British film directed by James Strong and stars David Tennant, Jack O'Connell and Sam Claflin. The movie is based on the true story of Manchester United's legendary Busby Babes and the Munich air crash in 1958, in which seven of the club's players got killed. By showing first-hand interviews with the survivors and their families, we get to see the inspirational story of a whole community negotiating a horrible tragedy. We are their pride. At the end of the week, we set the world to rights for them. At least till Sunday morning. And we owe them the best. Now, you want to play in front of them? Me and Mr. Busby need to know you'll give us the best in front of these 80,000, 3 o'clock on a Saturday. Number 3. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, 2013. You could have made out like a bandit in the capital jewels. Money, anything you wanted. Well, I don't like jewels, and I have more money than I need, so... The Hunger Games Catching Fire is a 2013 dystopian science fiction adventure film directed by Frances Lawrence and stars Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, and Elizabeth Banks. Katniss Everdeen safely returns home after winning the 74th Hunger Games alongside her colleague Peter Malark. They embark on a victor's tour of the districts. On the way, Katniss feels that a rebellion is bubbling, and when the 75th annual Games begins, Katniss's life will change forever. How about I shoot both of you? Look, Commander, you're new here. Trust me, I'm trying to help you. I'm Haymitch. You recognize her? Katniss Everdeen, darling of the Capitol. Number two. Love, Rosie, 2014. For Christ's sake, you're my best friend! Oh, maybe you needed someone from your old life to point out the truth. Rosie and Alex have been best friends since childhood, so they couldn't possibly be right for one another. Or could they? Based on the best-selling Where Rainbows End by Cecilia Ahern, the 2014 romantic comedy with Lily Collins, Sam Claflin, and Tamsin Egerton was directed by Christian Ditter. The love journey starts, as on Rosie's 18th birthday, it struck them that there could be something more than friendship between them. But when it comes to love and making the right choices, these two are their own worst enemies. I pity you, Alex. All I see is someone compensating for a crap personal life by schmoozing his way up the career ladder. Crap, crap personal life. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I now be scrum. Comport yourself, boys. <laughs> There ain't much been given to me in my brief, miserable life. There's a the truth in it. But by God, I'll have it said that Scrum had himself a kiss from a proper mouth, mate! Perhaps tomorrow I could borrow a horse and have a look around. Such an odd feeling. Driving up to the house, he comes standing by the door to welcome me. I've done it so many times in my imagination. Number 1. Me Before You, 2016. You should be out there, claiming the world is your own, showing your leprechaun shoes to dodgy men. I like my life. You like everything. In the 2016 adaptation of Jojo Moy's novel, a tender romance develops between a rich man in a wheelchair and his caretaker. Directed by Thea Sherrick and starring Amelia Clark, Sam Claflin, and Charles Dance, the film follows the story of Louisa Clark and Will Trainer two human beings who couldn't be more different. 
After Will becomes wheelchair-bound following an accident, he has doubts about whether his life is worth living until Lou steps in, determined to prove to the man that life is still worth it. You know what I see when I look at you? Don't say potential. Potential. You need to widen your horizons, Clark. You only get one life. It's actually your duty to live it as fully as possible. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.